Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem. We have just ten levels left. Two worlds! I made it this far, so I'll probably make it to the end in the next episode. So, hopefully I can keep up the five levels per video. I probably should have broken up the last video into two, but who cares? We are on level 41, the start of the world called Frigid Ruins. Let's go. Yep, it's the ice cream. Look at all of Grandma Grouper's help feet! Kind of interesting using this tile set as the second to last tile set, because this has like really calming music. Oh, fun. So is this world just going to be a whole bunch of whirlpools, I wonder? There are too many squid in here. There's too much poo in your zoo. Zoo Tycoon reference. Oh no. This is not good. All three of the squid are just hanging out. Maybe I can get this guy to come down here. What's in here? Alright, starfish gate in here. That will probably lead to the here. Okay. Looks like the gimmick of this world is literally just, there's a lot of enemies, and I also really like the dark blue background with the ice cavern in it. It works surprisingly well. Hi! Nope. I will see y'all later. Oh, hi! <laughs> He's like, hey, wait a sec! He tripped me! It's Morty Williams! <laughs> okay, good. I was really worried that it would lead right to him. Where's a squid was? Oh, no. I really want to see what that other room's all about. What a life! What a life? More like, get a life. That's what they're actually telling me to do. Mm, I don't like this room. There are too many enemies patrolling the corridors. That's a dead end. Fun. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I didn't see that there were freeways out of this one. Well, how about that? that okay, that squid literally only swims up and down. Yep, I thought that's where it would lead. This is an interesting first level. In here we have two spiral shell gates. That's interesting. Hold on to that extra extra spiral show, I think. Actually, I might not be able to now. I gotta lure the shark out. <laughs> the 
that's the only way. I gotta lure the shark out if I want to get that kelp seed. <laughs> I ran out of my bubble bath. That's not good. I guess it was good to the last drop, though. I wonder if... Does the bubble bath count down? If you had infinite bubbles on. Like, if you have infinite bubbles on, but you also have some bubble bath, what happens if you <laughs> shoot a bubble? Will it actually deplete your bubble bath? Oh, thank you for being stupid, Shark. I don't care about getting those two shells. I'm just getting out of here. Alright, let's see what's down here. We got Blowfish, and we got a sponge. Okay. Maybe I have to lure them out one by one? Whirlpools are a very cool gimmick. The problem with them is you can't see where one is going to be. So if I enter this portal, it could literally go anywhere. not want that guy to turn around. That's actually kind of a bad thing. Oh well. Just siphon him out. So actually I did not need... There's an extra spiral shell that isn't necessary. Oh, that's no. That's not fair. I would love to know how you're supposed to do this without bubble bath. Or just dying a whole bunch. Yeah. Well, the first level took a while. It wasn't nearly as hard as the last world, though, so I'm liking this. At the very least, I really like the look of these levels. <laughs> okay, so what are we up against? So if I push that to the left, I don't think anything's really gonna happen. <laughs> That was interesting. This is not good. Oh, come on! So this, it's a liter- I don't like this. This is literally down to chance. You just have to hope that it lines up, basically, which is not good. Because 
Because I only the only reason I could get through that is because this blowfish over here just happened to move out of the way at the right time. Oh, interesting. You're gonna make me go back there later. All right. Oh, okay, I can deal with this. Anglerfish, I can deal with. Goodness, they only move back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at beating the English. Of course, saying that is going to be my downfall, I'm sure. See, this is actually a well designed room, it's all about timing. But you won't get unlucky. As long as you make the right moves, you won't get unlucky. See, that was 100% my own fault that I got my sandwich eaten there. And like here, you gotta hold off for a little bit, but it's not too bad. Lame. By the time I got over there safely, they would have melt already. <laughs> they just sound so vicious when you get close to them. Alright, in here we've got- oh wow, there's another door. I did- okay, it would not let me go up. That's a- that's bullcrap. Thankfully, I don't think that's a hinge that really matters if I move it or not. <laughs> Gone it. Stupid crabs. Yeah, I don't like this. This is entirely dependent on the, ga the the enemies moving in a way that benefits you, and they pretty much never do that. <laughs> Until that crab moves to the left, I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool puzzle, but it's a bit annoying. to hide in here. It is kind of awesome and hilarious if that's the case, but...
Aw oh, man, don't tell me I'm gonna waste my my worm duel just because that guy's being a bud. I'll bet you that's what's gonna happen though. The quality of these levels has gone down the later on in the pack I get. No, don't turn around! I'm really trying not to turn on the junior helpers. I suppose infinite lives wouldn't be that bad. I'm not even sure if infinite lives even works. There's one, there's one junior arcade game, at least, where if you turn on infinite lives it doesn't actually work. Okay. Stay there. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't turn, go this way. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. All right, good. Good, 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 good. I want the, the squid to go someplace stupid. Like up to the other world pool, maybe? I gotta get that kelp seed down there, but that kelp seed, holy cow, that kelp seed is. Swim towards that. <laughs> you fool! Now you are trapped. Basically. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so this is Whirlpool Land. And I mean, I love Whirlpools, but. I wish there was some way to tell where each one would be. Because without knowing that in advance, it adds an element of risk and chance to the level. I don't like that. <laughs> hey! I was in the whirlpool, you butt! Oh, yeah? I'm gonna turn on unlimited tries. No, now I have to do this again. Oh, I forgot how bad the first game was. Like that! How are you supposed to get through that without it just being a 50 50 chance? And now I get to go all the way back to the beginning. I feel like you could have put in a doorway in that room back to the beginning to make a shortcut. I think that would be a good idea. Make like a doorway back to the beginning, but also block it so you can't go to that room from the beginning. Okay, after I don't even know how many lives we're back to the first room, I would change that. That is a pain in the butt. Yeah, make like a room from here to the last room, and block the last room with like a hinge or something that you can't move. That's what I would do. Because backtracking through all those rooms is just plain annoying. Pure and simple. What do you mean I missed a kelp seed? That's bullcrap. <laughs> the only reason I was able to get through that room now that I've cleared it is literally just because I got lucky. That is the only reason.
Wait, what? I didn't see a kelp seed there. I swear there was no kelp seed there. Well, after a half hour, I completed two levels. Uh, I guess we'll turn that off. I guess. I'll turn on bubbles if it becomes a problem again. First level was kind of good. Second level, not good at all. <laughs> well, that's one way to force me out of there. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I wonder if there's another use for the purple sea urchins other than for their... I don't like what that squid is doing. Yep, I thought that's where that would lead. Hmm. Well, you know what's bad? I have to get that. do have to use the purple sea urchins to get out of there. We haven't seen the water spouts in a while, so I mean, I'm kind of happy to see them. It's good to have a gimmick to return to, I suppose. What a life! Oh, come on! Stop being so picky. and picky. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'll be going that way. Oh, thank goodness I got a one up. I needed that. I mean, you can't say the world's not large. From as large doesn't necessarily mean good. No! My life! My life has become forfeit. why these water spouts even exist you know, for most of the, this world. I mean, I want to get the bonus stuff, but do I want to get the bonus stuff that badly? That's the question here. Oh, hey, there's another room I can go to. Oh, it's this room.
Oh, shoot. No. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm screwed. No matter what I do, I'm dead. Well, might as well get it over with now. Okay. Let's put that back on. I feel like that's less cheating than turning on infinite bubbles, but... Jeez, this one. You said this didn't get to Kaizo levels of difficulty. It kind of is. You were able to beat this without the junior helpers. I, I would like to see that. All right. Let's try to do this as efficiently as possible. No, no. No. Nope. We gotta find. Okay. No, we can't lure the squid out of there. The squid went in there of his own free will. So... New point. Uh... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Thankfully, I have infinite money, so... There we go. <laughs> now that Mr. Squid is gone and no more, now we just gotta wait to make sure the blowfish ain't gonna overlap on us. Oh, that was the wrong whirlpool, anyways. I mean, I don't want to say the water spots just suck, but they're not very good. All right. Look at me, I'm an elf. I have two starfish. But I need three. I must have gotten an extra starfish and not realized it. Last attempt at this level, anyways. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just take the hit. I'm more interested in beating this semi quickly than I am in doing it the way, exactly the correct way to do it safely. If that made sense. Cool, I have no reason to ever go to this room again. Yes, good, dogfish is stuck too. <laughs> the dogfish just really likes playing in the water, actually. I'm 
not sure if saving a sand dollar is going to do a darn thing. Where did I miss a kelp seed so Oh yeah, duh, first room. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, that ain't... <laughs> that boy ain't right. How do I even... Wait, how do I even get back to the first room? Can I not get back to the first room? It does not appear I can get back to the first room. There is no way to get back to the first room after you leave it. Okay, that's really dumb. You can do that if there are no kelp seeds in the first room. If there are kelp seeds in the first room, though, you can't do that. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. You can get back. How did I miss that door? I even went back to the room and paused and looked around and I didn't see it. Never mind. Oh, that's so dumb, though. Because now I have to go through everything all over again. And done. We are at the 50 minute mark and I still have two levels left. And we haven't even gotten to the bubble, the bonus room level. Ah. This is taking forever. I shudder to think what the last world is going to be like. <laughs> oh, I see how this is gonna go. <laughs> see, this is actually kind of clever. <laughs> I like this. I just don't like really long, convoluted puzzles that rely on the you rely on the enemies behaving. Oh no! Oh no! Not the sponges! Not the orange sponges! Yeah, I just left on the infinite lives, because what the heck. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's take a look. Well, this room isn't very well designed. At least you could put, like, a foreground marker next to the whirlpools in order to determine which one will lead where. That could be a good idea. I hate how these gates are forcing me into the whirlpools. Oh, great. Why do the sponges always 
always spawn in a way where it's super annoying to get past them. Every freaking time. This time they spawned in a good way. Now the dogfish aren't gonna bother me. just backtracking the level because I have to go to every single room three times at least. Oh, The designer in me appreciates the kind of level that this is, where you can you have to like use all the different gates. I don't like how you have to backtrack it as much. And I don't like how you have no way of knowing where the whirlpool takes you until you actually get in it. Honestly, I'm so glad I have unlimited lives at this point because I'm only using them for shortcut purposes, and it is worth it. Again, the level designer in me is like, hey, that's actually kind of cool. And then the part of me who actually is playing it is like, no, that's really bad. That is way too much backtracking. I don't like this room. This room, you have to wait for the kelp gates to open in just the right way. Shark tried his best to screw me up. He's got to try better than that. Well, it's a good thing I didn't record this before dinner, because there is no way I would have done that in time. I don't like this. Don't like this. Oh, I see. You can only get that if they, you can't open the gate. That's actually kind of clever. Oh, wait. Need that last. 
do need that last kill to see. Um, <laughs> the shark didn't eat my sandwich. So, but why? So why was he still like, do it, huh? I'm the best, do it, huh? <laughs> That was strange. <laughs> I'm getting brain freeze in here. Holy cow. This... The Ice Cavern was one of the more fun worlds in the original Maze Magnus. This one is just... way too long, you know? And part of it is just like, well, I mean, the levels are supposed to get harder. It's true. The levels are supposed to get harder. That's not my mentality. My mentality is, hey, I want to record five levels per... <laughs> It's... T yeah. Why do I have to wait just for the kelp gates to align perfectly in the heavens in order to progress? Especially when it can very easily just be... Oh yeah, no, that's not happening. Still not as bad as the last pool. Not as bad as the last pool. This is definitely better designed. Stupid freaking anglerfish! Alright, hopefully the last level of the world will be good. We are at the hour mark in terms of recording, so... Alright, first room, only one enemy. I am liking this. All right. Oh, are you going to force me which way I can go? Are you going to force me to be like, well, I wonder which way leads where? Don't know, so it's complete chance whether or not I can get the bonus room. All right, well, it seems to me... Well, it seems to me like actually this could be the smart move. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> okay, yeah, if that was the squid, the squid would not have been able to hit me as I was entering the whirlpool. The shark had absolutely no problem doing that, though. Oh, ho! Oh, it's one of those levels. It's like level 40 from the original. There are literally just these four kelp seeds. Okay. So let me try my hand at this, then. Thinking through here, one of these has to go up, the other has to go. Okay. laughing at the end. Oh, I see. There was only... There was only the one starfish in this room anyway, so... Never mind, it's not a totally random chance. I'll go into the starfish room and I get another key to a different room, and that's how it's gonna go. Okay, this won't redeem the rest of the world, but this is pretty cool. Oh, is it free puzzle rooms? I hope it's free puzzle rooms. Or four puzzle rooms, technically. Okay, so we've got a lot of pebbles in here. We have a lot of pebbles in here. All right, well, first things first. Where does this lead? I'll push this up. <laughs> okay. That's kinda interesting. Alright. Okay, so we need to throw hmm. Okay. This is 
very strange. So we need to get rid of one of these fish bones first off. How can I get rid of this one? I just need to push one up. Cool! Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So I want to get that cookie. Or, I'm sorry, the sand dollar. Damn it. I've screwed... Darn it. Oh wait, I thought there was nothing. No, I'm mistaken. I want this freaking bonus room. I want it so bad I can taste it. Of course I pushed the pebble in the wrong direction. Why wouldn't I do literally the wrong thing very first? Oh, it, I was thinking the wrong pebble, that's why. Hmm, okay. this need? I can't really see any need to- okay. Trippy, isn't it? So I can push it through there, and if I push it through here, I see. I see. So next, next priority is getting rid of this fish bone here. Right there. Right there. Mm, yeah. All right. So I need to push one up, which means I need to push one up into here. I need to put two up into there. Okay. <laughs> this is just getting all kinds of convoluted now. Okay, <laughs> now I need to know. Watch this.
Yep, that happened. Well, this is a really cool room, no two ways about it. <laughs> it's just really convoluted. Alright. It's actually very well set up. Alright, I want it to hit... Alright. Sponge is finally in the right place. Bravo, bravo, Mandals. That was a really cool puzzle. See, if it was... Honestly, you could make a level pack of just, like, puzzles like this, and it would be pretty awesome. Tone down the enemies that appear. Alright, what do we have in this room? That's a dirty trick. Oh, I guess I wouldn't have been able to push it anyways. Okay. End game, we gotta get there. I'm almost willing to bet that that is the fishbone we have to destroy in order to do that. Alright, well that pebble, you can't push it to the left, you can't push it to the right. Pushing it up will do absolutely nothing. So it stands to reason we gotta push it down. Just like that. Similarly, I'm guessing that public pebble also has to get pushed down. Keep two right I am. <laughs> yes, I can see where the exits are. Duff my eyes deceive me, or is it really this easy? Oh, it's not. No, it's not. I was about to say, I'll just push it down there and everything happens now. It'll blow this up, it won't blow up that rock, though. So I really need to be careful about this. Perhaps an attic I shall seek. This is gonna be most of the video, honestly, is watching this part. Alright. If I push that to the left, that would be a bad thing to do. If I push the rock up there to the right, that would be a bad thing to do. I need to get this rock triggered. Wait, no. Okay, never mind. That's where the sponge comes in handy. So as long as I can push the sponge to here, I'm good. So if I push the sponge up... <laughs> yeah, that's not Alright. So the sponge can go up there. Push it up, and I need to get the sponge... ...down here. I need to get the sponge down for that whirlpool. Where does this one lead again? Okay, so I need to push it down there. Which means you kind of need to push it in here. <laughs> this is getting way too complicated. Mm hmm. I literally only push it up for there. Push it up for there, it goes for here. Push it up. Push that hinge back. Push this down. Push this up. Do, do. One up. <laughs> so there are two fish bones left. There are two fish bones left. I gotta destroy this one. Hmm. 
There. You're welcome. Everyone's like, come on, you're being so slow. Yes, I am being slow. I'm proud to be slow. Jeez, the things I do. <laughs> the things I do just to get a bonus room that's not even going to do anything for me. There's still a whole nother puzzle room. If I have to do this room again, oh, that's gonna be real bad. <sighs> this is definitely the longest episode of a solo Let's Play that I have done in a long time. Since a Lemmings Let's Play, I'm sure. Alright. Well, end game. I want to blow that up. How do I blow that up? All right. Well, first things first. I gotta push a pebble to the right. Yeah. So I gotta push a pebble to the right. This one. Cool. I was thinking that's what it was. Alrighty. First off, uh, where does this lead? If I push this to the left, there's one there, okay. Push this here. That leads there. My process of elimination, this one leads here, okay. the game. Now we gotta destroy this. So we need to push something to the left. We gotta push that one to the left. Cool. Well, I can push this to the right and do nothing or push it to the left and actually do something. Thank you for not making these puzzles super easy to screw up. Alright. 
So if I move, if this gets there, one, one, two, all right. So I just have to push it out through there. So I've got to push it to, all right, I got to push the sponge in here. push it to the left here. Alright, so I just push it to the left a whole bunch. I can do that. Green sponges have now been nicknamed puzzle sponges, because they're used in every puzzle in the game. If only I could get this on the last Also, where's the bonus room? I don't know where the bonus room is. It's not in here. It's not in here. It's gotta be in the starfish room. No, it's not in there. Wait, where's the freaking bonus room? Oh, how did I miss that? Don't shut, don't shut, don't shut, don't shut. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> a deserted bonus room, which is really funny, but also a big slap in the face. Alright, that was actually a really fun last level. I really, really liked that last level. But pretty much every other level in this world sucked. Uh, that's not that's not fair, because the first three quarters of this pack is ridiculously fun and really well done. But then the last two, possibly three worlds are just a grind for this, basically. That's, that's how I feel playing. I'd ideally like to play without needing to turn on unlimited lives, but that's just where I've gone. And I shudder to think what the last world is going to be like. The last world is, by the way, is titled Alloy Nightmare. I can only assume that means the alloy from the bonus room levels. And Nightmare, well, is pretty self-explanatory. The levels aren't going to be fun. So... Yeah. And by the way, people, this took about an hour and a half just to record this video. And I've got to edit it and upload it tonight. And it's not really early. <laughs> That'll be fun. I really enjoyed sussing out the last one. It was super fun. Also, how did I miss that bonus room? I swear nothing opened when I picked up the scepter. I swear I was looking around and I saw nothing, but I guess I was wrong. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry that that... <laughs> sorry if I didn't commentate a whole lot on this and just cut a whole bunch of stuff out, but nobody wanted to see that, trust me. Tune in next time, we're going to the last five levels in the last world, Alloy Nightmare. Look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.